What up, what up, what up? Becoming the Beast Podcast. Jeff Lokes here. You already know. It's been a minute. I got a new episode for y'all, man. Got that heat, got that fire for you, man. You better get hyped. Appreciate you for tuning in. Appreciate you listening. It's been brought to you by Logan Performance, Become Nutrition, and of course, No Beast Mode Clothing. And Becoming the Beast Podcast, this is going to be on focus. Cut that motherfucking music. What's up, people? Welcome back. Welcome to some of y'all for the first time. Welcome my, my, my subscribers, my people who support the podcast, my people who stream this. Anytime you hear an ad in between there, this is how we keep it going. This is how we keep it moving. When you hear that ad, it's your boy getting paid. When you subscribe for that four ninety nine a month, I know you can spend four ninety nine a month. You spend more than that on, on coffee and, uh, and McDonald's and all that shit. Listen, when you support the podcast, it supports me and we can grow. We can be bigger. We can do more of these. We can do more things. We can, we can extend the arm of the podcast. But look, today... This podcast is on focus. So again, this has been brought to you by Logan Performance. That's www.loganperformance.app. Become Nutrition. That's www.becomenutrition.com. No Beast Mode Clothing. That's www.nobeastmode.us. All my brands. One man, three brands, three kids. You already know. Listen, I got some fire for you. So quick updates, announcements. So basically, I've been kind of MIA because I've been acting. Your boy's been acting. So if you look up Jeff Logan IMDB, those are uh, my acting credentials on there. There are five films. Your boy has done five films so far. Crazy. Four of those have been done this year. One of, or excuse me, yeah, yeah, four of those have been done this year. I'm excited for some stuff to come out. Uh, there's been a fashion show that came out on Prime Video. Three films are coming out around the same time frame in February. So it's going to be three films in February. It's going to be Double Cross Season 4. It's going to be The Deadly Getaway which is a thriller. I'm, I think I'm the most excited about that. I'm excited about it all, but I'm the most excited about the thriller because I get to be a, a crazy person and it's so far away from who I really am as a person that, you know, it's, it's cool to see myself as something different. And also a Valentine's Day movie uh, called Valentine's Day Crush. So be on the lookout for all those. And yeah, we got a Black Friday sale coming up. New product coming out. New product. Can't let you know what the product is. But uh, if you stay tuned on Become Nutrition's page, on my page, you'll know how to get that product absolutely free. NBM has dropped, so that release is live. Everything's live on the site. We are shipping out next day sometimes, the same day. And a Logan Performance app is where you can find my training, my diet. Um, you can get in shape. That's male or female. Everything I have is, in fact, unisex. So be on the lookout for all those. But today, this podcast is sponsored by Be Focus. Okay, this is a product by Become. It is a nootropic. Uh, you can look that up to see the exact ingredients, exactly what it does for you. I definitely popped a Be Focus before I did this. I pop one once in the morning, uh, gets my day right. It allows you to zero in. But I'm also going to do this podcast about the importance of focus. And I could tell you about like how, be, how Become Nutrition like came about, like the come up story, but hey, that's a whole nother podcast. You feel me? So look, let's go on focus right now. Okay, boom. So when we talk about be focus, be focus is the limitless pill. I mean, but it's obviously legal and it doesn't turn you into a crackhead, right? And again, like I said, you can see the ingredients on uh, becomenutrition.com. But look, focus, okay? That's what I want you to meditate on this week after hearing this. Focus. So let's break it down. Focus by definition means to pay particular attention to. Think about that. Break it down, man. Words hold a lot of power. Words can make you move. Words can make you feel. Words hold power. Spelling. That's why it's called spelling. You are casting a spell every time you speak. Remember, there's three type of words. There is the internal dialogue, which is the thought. There is the external, which is a speech. And there is the word in motion, which is your action. So those three type of words. And when those three are in unison, you will manifest whatever you are, quote unquote, speaking about, whatever you are focusing on. So focus by definition, pay particular attention to. Break that down, pay. So let's think about our energy, our life, because we don't, we don't have time. Remember, we use the word life in the place of time. Oh, I don't want to spend time on that. Oh, I'm spending too much time here. Oh, I'll spend some time with you. No, let's let's change that to life. How much life are you spending on that? Spending, pay, pay attention. How much of your attention are you paying? Because your energy is your currency. Your life is your currency. You living, you're breathing, your divine aliveness is your currency. So what are you paying for? What are you paying your attention to? What are you giving the currency of your life to? Focus. Another definition of focus, the center of your interest or activity. Again, what are you focusing on? Because guess what? This has become B and then it comes. 
whatever you're focusing on, that's what you're going to get. Focus. Let's keep breaking it down. I, I like this. Focus. Let's keep breaking it down. Let's let's take the energy of this word, of this spell, and how much power it can have over your life, good or bad, right? Focus. F-O-C-U-S. F, follow. O, one, C, course, U, until, S, success. F-O-C-U-S. Follow one course until success. Focus, broken down, acronym. There's power in there, baby. There's power in <laughs> There's power in these words, man. I told you in previous podcasts, thought attracts that which is directed upon. So whatever you direct your thought, whatever direction you direct it in, and whatever paying attention to, that's what you're going to get. So when you go into a store and you pay for something, you usually get what you paid for, right? So what are you spending your life currency on? What you think about what you is what you get, big or small. How many times have the universe paid you or gave you what you paid for? Every time. When the good things happen. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. When the bad things happen. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew this person was going to do that. I knew they was going to do that to me. I knew this was going to mess up on me. Because you paid attention to it. Thought attracts that upon what is directed at. Right? The universe, the law of attraction, it responds every single time. There's no thought, there's no internal dialogue that goes unanswered. Asking is given, right? You always get what you truly focus on. It's always that I told you so thing, right? So what is focus, right? Focus is our director, our leader, our conductor, right? So when you see a massive, uh, you know, semi-truck 18-wheeler that you try to speed past when you're in the fast lane so, you know, they don't veer over and hit your damn car, right? That's a massive power getting driven by somebody. Your mind is a massive power driven by you. So your focus is your steering wheel. You get to direct that in whatever direction you want to go in. So why would you drive to a destination you don't want to be at? Hmm? If you're in a particular situation, if you're in a particular area, if you're in a particular realm, environment, that you don't want to be in, that is undesirable to you, it is completely your fault. If you are in an area, environment, that you do desire, that you're frolicking, that you're, that you're enjoying, it's your fault as well. Fault is not necessarily a negative thing, right? Your life's your fault. Hmm. You're going to get what you focus on. But check it out. That same 18-wheeler, which is your life, carrying all your stuff, right? It's a massive power. So imagine if that didn't have a driver. I don't want to be on the, the highway around that thing, right? Why? Because it's a massive power that doesn't know where it's going undirected that's what focus does that's focus is going to cut through grab the steering wheel and take it where it needs to go think about two ships right let's make it even bigger think about two massive ships right one has a crew on it cabin crew captain got the gps they know exactly where they're going to right they're going to reach the destination you you get another ship just as good maybe even better faster more efficient bigger engines right no conductor no crew and you just let it float unfocused where is that ship going to end up in relation to the other ship not at the same spot right this is your focus what you focus on is what you get focus is food focus is fuel it's going to feed the machine focus is your motherfucking superpower focus is your superpower what are you focusing on imagine trying to listen to something else at the same time you're listening to this podcast on full blast you're going to have to tune out one of them. Focus. Remove focus from something and it dies. You can't see it. It disappears. Right? You could look in a certain direction. If you're not focusing on anything in particular, you won't really see anything, anything, any details. Focus is your detailer. Right? Also, I need you to understand this about focus. I need you to focus through the lens of your desire. Some of y'all focus through weakness, through lack, through disbelief. And you know how I noticed that was me. Never again will I never again will I focus through a different lens. I will focus on only through the lens of my desires. Right? What you focus on is what you get. I used to get very terrible things, undesirable things. Negative bank account. Hmm. Lamborghini stolen. That's a whole other podcast. Hmm. Attracting negative people. 
You get what you focus on. Whether you're focusing on these things on these things actively or subconsciously. Again, what kind of content are you eating? What are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding your focus? What are you paying attention to? What are you doing with your life currency? You got you literally are rich, wealthy, and abundant in life. Because you're listening to this, so you must be alive, obviously, right? Rich, wealthy, and abundant in life currency. And you can direct this life currency in whatever direction you want it to go in. What are you focusing on? What are you paying attention to? What do you want to pay attention to to get back to yourself? What are you paying attention to? Because last person I went on becomenutrition.com and bought a bottle of Be Clean, our best seller. Guess what they got? They paid us for the Be Clean and we sent them the Be Clean. That's what happens. So what are you spending your life currency on, right? What are you consuming? What are you focusing on? Because you're going to get it back. Everything you consume, you're going to get it back. That's negative videos, negative music, negative people, <laughs> um, negative situations, or continuing, continuing to talk about a negative situation breathing life into this negative situation. And you got to take inventory on yourself. What's breaking your focus? Mm. You got to be honest with yourself. Unfortunately, none of us came with owner's manuals, right? (laughs) We're guided by other people at a certain point of our life, but you have to introduce you to your own life. You got to know yourself, take inventory. What's breaking your focus? Be honest. You might have to unfollow some stuff. In real life and on the gram and on the Twitter and on the, you know, whatever. What is your focus on now in this moment? What is your focus on in the next moment? Your focus is going to feed your action. It's going to feed your life. Actions are the physical steps you take closer. You, actions are the physical steps you take to get closer to that goal, to attain that manifestation, to go from, to go from thought to physical. We live in a material world where we literally bring out all these manifestations from within. You get what you focus on. And manifestation is a whole nother podcast, but what I want you to think about in manifestation is not just attaining it. And I, and I did a mentorship call. I do mentorship calls as well. Um, I only take about six a week and uh, schedule fills up pretty quick. And that is the link in my Instagram bio. And we do video calls. And I, and I, I put on my Instagram the other day, I said, you know, my, my tragic flaw in that is someone books like a, you know, like a 20 minute or even 30 minute, 30 minute is my max. And we end up talking for an hour, sometimes two hours because like, one, I'm going to over-deliver. Two, I'm going to over-deliver. Three, I'm going to over-fucking-deliver. If you're invested in me, you know? So when we think about manifestation, I want you to think about the longevity and maintaining this manifestation, right? And holding it. I don't want you just to achieve it. Think about, think about the weakness in that. You want to just get something. Attain it for what, a day? You got these dream cars on your go board. The last individual I was talking to, this man had the most, I would say the best goal board I've seen. Better than anything, <laughs> damn better than anything I've, I've, I've created. I mean, it was strategically placed. I mean, down to the mate that he wanted. I said, damn, boy. you like." And it's, it's like, it's huge. It's huge. It's all in his office. And I said, man, that's the most elaborate goal board I've ever seen. But here's the thing. You don't want to just attain all that. Like, just get it for a day. You want to maintain it. So with manifestation, the thought process of that, take your brain to a place where you done had it for 10 years. Ooh, that's a, that's a, that's a different type of energy versus just the excitement of attaining it. Take yourself of someone who's already attained this, meaning they have it, they hold it. It's theirs. It's history, right? But again, manifestation is a whole nother podcast. (laughs) Quotes that I personally like about focus. Check this out. This is by Aristotle. During our darkest times, we must focus on the light. Mm. During our darkest times, we must focus on the light. Mm. Because again, what you focus on is what you will attract, what you will get more of, what you pay attention to. Pay attention. Another quote, starve your distractions, feed your focus. Remember, the focus is the fuel. The focus is the leader. The focus is the guide. Another quote, you get what you focus on, so focus on what you want, right? Simple, simple concepts, not easy to do. Because all day long, you're focusing on different things. And there's a lot of distractions out there. That's taking inventory and saying, what is breaking my focus? Because guess what? I don't want anything to break anything that I possess. And sometimes we take it for granted because guess what? Your focus was given to you for free. And sometimes those faculties, your soul, your spirit, 
your energy, your life. It was given to you. You didn't really pay for it. So sometimes the things that we get for free, we take advantage. But if we had to pay for something, oh, man, oh, God, it's, it's so valuable, right? Think about your life. Focus on your life. Another quote, when you focus on the good, the good gets better. That's a fact. Mm. Another quote, don't get sidetracked by people who aren't on track. Ooh, shit. <laughs> don't get sidetracked by people who aren't on track. So if they're not even on the track, how are you going to get, you know what I mean? Boom, another quote, focus on the solution, not the problem. Mm. I've got nowhere by focusing on the problems. When I focus on ways to solve the problems, that's when I come up with a solution. Another quote, always remember your focus determines your reality. That's a fact. So when I think back to times where I wasn't focused, I was legitimately doing the same things I'm doing now. Logan Performance was selling PDFs. It wasn't an app yet. But again, I'm talking about making no money, no impact, not getting anybody in shape like that. Not at the, not at the rate that I'm doing now. Not at the rate that occurs when there's focus involved. Same thing would become nutrition. Labels were slapped on. The formulas were not the best. MBM, low, it was low quality. In 2015, it was low quality. It was trash, you know? It was just me printing my, my message on a shirt. And, and we all have to start somewhere. And you learn from those mistakes. And now the quality is unmatched. Everyone who got it is like, damn. And I'm like, you damn right. <laughs> you know, even acting. I was an extra. I was getting extra work where you don't speak. No one knows. No one cares. And you're getting 180 bucks and take your ass home. You want a lunch? Fuck out of here. It wasn't no lead roles. I wasn't getting flown. I wasn't flying first class. I wasn't getting driven around in a sprinter, you know? So when you focus and hone in and detail yourself, focus on getting better, focus on investing in your craft, focus on taking your craft into uncharted heavens, focus on taking yourself serious, focus on taking inventory, focus on steering your ship in the right direction, focusing through the lens of your desire, not through the lens of lack, haste, comparisons, or someone's bullshit-ass doubt that they placed upon you, right? So I was not doing much different, like, as far as, like, the industries that I'm in. But now the focus is here, and I'm dialing the focus up even more. I, I think it was Robin Sharma's book. I'm reading one of Robin Sharma's books right now. It's called Everyday Hero Manifesto. I posted it in my story. And I, and I put a quote, it's just, you know, just, just teasing people. I was like, how, how is your body count higher than your book count? Just fucking around. Cause you know, people, I was just like, you know, messing around with a, with a quote, but it's, it's true. It's true. Invest in yourself. And I think it was, I think it was Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. It was like speaking about when the guy was on his journey that he was instructed to look at nature like a flower and see how long he could look at it. And, and I remember going outside looking at a plant and I couldn't look at it for more than two seconds without like getting bored, you know? But when you really start to focus on it and, and the leaves and, and the divine aliveness of this plant and where it came from and that it came from a seed and, you know, where is it going and what is its purpose and, you know what I mean? And, like, all the little nuances and the, and the design and the shape of it, you're like, whoa, there's a lot that goes to this thing. So how many of y'all have focused on yourself? And even if you like to play that, oh, I want to put others before myself and I want to be so humble and I... I just, I'm, I'm just here to serve others. That's great, but you have to be alive to do that. So you have to have a certain level of maintenance and a certain level of care for yourself to be able to put others first. So in essence, you still come in first, right? So I need you to focus on you. I need you to hone in on what you're going to do. I need you to keep promises that you said to yourself. Every time you keep a promise, you come back the next day stronger. And all my people talking about the sex transmutation, I'm, I'm going to do, do a whole other podcast on, on semen retention, all that good stuff. But like I said, what are you paying attention to? What words are you focusing on? How is your inner talk? How is your inner dialogue? What spells are you casting on yourself? What spells do you need to break? What's breaking your focus? Take inventory. If I write your name down, and this is, this is an exercise you can do, and this is what I have my clients do. Write your name down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a group of just warriors, and I'm going to call it Becoming the Beast. And I'll, we'll, we'll all do a, a Zoom call once a week, like a group one, 
and we'll, we'll share our, our triumphs and tragedies. And then I'll do a single call with everybody individually. And then you'll be able to text me on my business line. And you'll be able to voice note and you got to keep it under a minute and I'll keep my response under a minute. And there'll be, you know, there'll be an enrollment fee and all that good stuff. But I'm going to structure that, man, because there's something here. Because if you're listening to this, you're on that path to becoming a beast. And we're always on that path. We never really reach it, right? Always getting better. Always being a better beast, better version. And a beast doesn't have a fucking gender. It's just a beast. If a beast is chasing you, <laughs> you don't care. What is it? Is it, is it a, a male beast, a female beast? The, it's just chase. It's just a beast. A beast is a beast is a beast is a beast is a beast. Becoming the beast podcast, baby. This is Jeff Logan. Shout out to you guys. Again, you can go subscribe to the podcast four ninety nine a month. Um, or you can go, you can donate. There's links. I don't know how you guys are listening to it. I think the biggest platform right now is Spotify, Apple podcasts. Um, and there's Google podcasts, there's Facebook podcasts. Um, there's, you, you know, you can go directly through anchor. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But again, I appreciate you guys sharing the message, resharing it, you know, and you can follow becoming the beast podcast on the gram, made a page for it with little snippets, little edits, you know, make it go viral, man. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's spread the movement. Right? Let's do this. Let's let's handle business. Cause look, I'm making you better, and you making me better. This is a handshake. One hand washes the other. Shout out, man. Much love. I'll see y'all later. Appreciate it. Much love. Appreciate the love. Shout out to y'all. See y'all on the gram. I'll see you at the top, man. Your boy. Focus is your motherfucking superpower. 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 <laughs>